Now, when we talk of organizations, as is said, communication is lifeblood of all organizations. Now, if organizations do not have a very efficient method and system of communication, information would not reach people in time. And therefore, whatever changes we are making may not be in time or may not be made effectively. And similarly, the threat to expertise is also another interesting point. It means that the old guards are always afraid of change. Exactly. Although they are seniors, they hold important positions, and they may be for change apparently, but inwardly, since they are experts only in the old methods, and they are not at a stage that they can learn new methods, so sometimes we encounter situations where the seniors resist change rather than promote the change. And now students, let us ask the expert, what is the Levine's three-step model? Now, the, this model and the model in the succeeding slide are the same. Let's take them together. They explain the same phenomenon. That is, there is a situation and the situation has got frozen. It was new a few years or months before, but now it has become routine. And people are working in this situation. And that is what we call a frozen situation. All right. But then what happens is that due to the forces that we have studied, the customers, the technologies, the communications and uh, competition and uh, uh, logistics, a change is forced. So the situation unfreezes. Mm -hmm. The situation changes. All right. And uh, it's a new situation now, or for some time it's in a flux. And then slowly, the new thing becomes a routine. That is, it becomes frozen again. Okay. So you can see it's a refreezing. Hmm. So there's the situation unfreezes and there is a flux, there is a movement or transitional period and uh, there is a refreezing of situation and afterwards it will again become a frozen situation or a routine or status quo. Now, the same thing is in the next model. That is, what is at present is status quo. Mm. And in the status quo, even at this moment, there are forces that are trying to change it. All right. And there are forces of resistance. Okay. So we can say there are forces of change, there are forces of status, status quo. quo. Now, due to various uh, factors, again the same, that is the changing client demands, the changing markets, or the et cetera, et cetera. competition, or the new technologies, the forces of change hold sway, mm -hmm. and they push the forces of status quo Right. The situation unfreezes or it is raised to a new level. Mm -hmm. You can see the line going up. Yes. That is the situation in which change is taking place. And then again a plateau. That is, again, it is a freezing of the situation or becoming a routine. So that is what we mean by uh, change. That is change from the present condition to uh, changing situation or flux, and then attaining a new state, and that is what we call the changed state, which, which will become status quo in due course in due of course. time. Which means, sir, that first the change will break the frozen situation, it will again refreeze itself, which means that a change will hold. Very right. 
and alongside that you can see the manager as a player or as an actor has three options. Mm -hmm. The manager may be all out for the change mm -hmm. as a very energetic manager should be. Yes. And uh, sometimes he may not be for the change. Okay. Due to various factors, as we were discussing, he feels yes, comfortable definitely. with the present one or his assessment is that the, the change is the change not, should required. not required. So he will be with the forces of status quo. Exactly. And the third option is that he may sometimes be with forces of change mm -hmm. and he may resist change at certain quarters or on certain scores. So that is a Combination, combination of right. two approaches. And students, with this, we come to the end of today's episode. But before we bid goodbye, I would quickly go through the review of what we studied today. Organizational change, need for change, change and organizational politics, steps in implementing change, importance of change, change and market forces, change agents, driving forces of change, pace of change, resistance to change and change models. Keeping in view what we studied today, that is change is the only constant. I would like to thank you for watching and thank you to the expert. We will thank see you. you next time. Goodbye.